Did you know that 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck? That's a staggering statistic, but it doesn't have to be your story. What if I told you mastering your personal finances is simpler than you might think? It's not about making millions overnight. It's about making smart choices today to secure your financial future. In this video, I'm sharing the top personal finance tips you need to know, no matter where you are in your financial journey. Before you even think about budgeting or investing, you need to define your why. What are you working towards? What do you want your money to help you achieve? This is where setting SMART financial goals comes in. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Let's break it down. Instead of saying, I want to save more money, a SMART goal would be, I want to save $10,000 for an emergency fund within the next 12 months. See the difference? It's specific, measurable, and most importantly, it has a deadline to keep you accountable. Think about your own financial aspirations. Is it buying your dream home? Achieving financial independence and retiring early? Paying off student loans? Whatever it is, write it down and break it down into smaller, actionable steps. To stay organized and motivated, use tools that work for you. There are tons of finance apps out there, like Mint or Personal Capital, that can help you track your progress. You can also create a simple spreadsheet or use a budgeting template. The key is to find a system that you'll actually stick to. Remember, setting goals is not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process. As you reach milestones, don't be afraid to set new goals and challenge yourself further. Your financial goals are your roadmap to financial success. All right, let's talk about budgeting. I know, I know it's not the most exciting topic, but trust me, it's the foundation of building a solid financial future. Without a budget, it's like trying to build a house without a blueprint. Think of your budget as your financial blueprint. Just like an architect needs a plan to build a house, you need a budget to build your financial future. It helps you track your income and expenses so you can make informed decisions about your money. Knowing where every dollar goes is crucial. Now there are tons of different budgeting methods out there, but one popular one is the 50-30-20 rule. It's simple and easy to follow. This method suggests allocating 50% of your after-tax income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. It's a balanced approach that covers all bases. Needs are your essential expenses, like rent, groceries, and transportation. These are the non-negotiables in your budget. Wants are things that you enjoy but can live without, like dining out, entertainment, and that new gadget you've been eyeing. These are the fun parts of your budget, but they should be kept in check. And of course, savings and debt repayment include building your emergency fund, investing for the future, and paying down any outstanding debt. This is where you secure your financial future. The beauty of budgeting is that it allows you to see where your money is going and identify areas where you can potentially cut back. It's like having a financial magnifying glass. Are you spending way too much on takeout coffee? Those small daily expenses can add up quickly. Could you downgrade your cable plan? Sometimes, small adjustments can free up significant amounts of money. Small changes can make a big difference over time. It's all about making smarter choices consistently. Technology can be your best friend when it comes to budgeting. There are so many tools available to help you stay organized. Apps like Mint and YNAB, you need a budget, can connect to your bank accounts and credit cards, automatically categorize your transactions, and help you stay on top of your spending. They make budgeting almost effortless. The most important thing is to find a budgeting method that works for you and stick to it. Consistency is key. It might take some trial and error, but once you find your groove, you'll be amazed at how much control you have over your finances. Financial freedom is within your reach, and it all starts with a solid budget. The power of saving small habits, big results. Saving money is like building a financial fortress. Each coin you save is like a brick in that fortress, providing a strong foundation for your financial future. It provides security, peace of mind, and opens up a world of possibilities for your future. Whether it's a dream vacation, a new home, or simply the comfort of knowing you're prepared for the unexpected, saving money can make it all possible. But saving isn't just about putting away large sums of money, it's about developing consistent habits that add up over time. Even small, regular contributions can grow significantly with patience and discipline. One of the easiest ways to save is to automate the process. Automation takes the effort out of saving, ensuring that you consistently set aside money without having to think about it. Set up a system where a portion of your paycheck is automatically transferred to your savings account each month. This way you pay yourself first and make saving a priority. You can even set up automatic transfers to different savings goals. 
like your emergency fund, travel fund, or down payment for a house. This helps you stay organized and focused on your financial objectives. Speaking of goals, having a clear vision of what you're saving for can be incredibly motivating. Whether it's a new home, a dream vacation, or a comfortable retirement, knowing your why can keep you on track. Speaking of emergency funds, if there's one thing you take away from this video, let it be the importance of having one. An emergency fund is your financial safety net. Aim for three to six months worth of living expenses saved up in a separate, easily accessible account. This will give you the peace of mind to handle unexpected events without financial stress. This will act as a financial cushion in case of unexpected events like job loss or medical emergencies. It's about being prepared for life's uncertainties. Now let's talk about those small habits that can make a big difference. Developing good financial habits is key to long-term success. Cutting back on unnecessary subscriptions is a great place to start. Do you really need all those streaming services? Evaluate what you actually use and cut out the rest. Do you really need all those streaming services? Sometimes we sign up for multiple services and forget about them, leading to wasted money. Are you actually using that gym membership? If not, consider canceling it and finding free or low-cost ways to stay active. Take a close look at your monthly expenses and see where you can trim the fat. Small cuts here and there can add up to significant savings over time. Another tip is to be mindful of your everyday spending. Being conscious of where your money goes can help you make better financial decisions. Bringing your lunch to work instead of eating out can save you a lot of money over the course of a year. Plus, it's often healthier. Brewing your own coffee instead of hitting up Starbucks can also save you a surprising amount of money each month. Those daily coffee runs add up. And finding free or low-cost entertainment options can save you a surprising amount of money each month. There are plenty of fun activities that don't require spending a lot. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself, it's about making conscious choices with your money. By being intentional with your spending you can enjoy life while still saving for the future. Investing 101 Grow your money while you sleep. Investing might seem intimidating, especially if you're new to personal finance, but it's one of the most powerful tools you have for building wealth over time. By understanding the basics and starting early, you can set yourself up for financial success. The magic of investing lies in the concept of compound interest, which can exponentially grow your wealth. In simple terms, compound interest is the interest you earn on your initial investment plus the interest you earn on your accumulated interest. This means your money can grow faster over time. It's like a snowball effect for your money, where small gains can turn into significant wealth. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Time is one of the most critical factors in investing. Even if you can only invest a small amount each month, it will add up over time, thanks to the power of compound interest. Consistency is key. Now, there are many different investment options out there from stocks and bonds to mutual funds and real estate, each has its own risk and return profile. If you're just starting out, I recommend keeping it simple with low-cost index funds or ETFs, which are exchange-traded funds. These are great for beginners. These funds track a specific market index like the S&P 500, providing instant diversification and typically lower fees compared to actively managed funds. This can help you save on costs. If you're not comfortable managing your own investments, consider using a robo-advisor. These platforms are user-friendly and efficient. These online platforms use algorithms to create and manage a diversified investment portfolio based on your risk tolerance and financial goals. They make investing accessible to everyone. They typically have lower fees than traditional financial advisors, making them a great option for beginner investors. Lower fees mean more of your money stays invested. Remember, investing does come with risks, and there are no guaranteed returns. It's important to be aware of the potential downsides. However, by diversifying your investments, investing for the long term, and doing your research, you can significantly increase your chances of success. Patience and knowledge are your best allies in the world of investing. Credit score hacks, build credit and conquer debt. Your credit score is like your financial report card. It tells lenders how responsible you are with borrowing and repaying money. A good credit score can save you thousands of dollars in interest payments over your lifetime, while a poor credit score can make it difficult to get approved for loans, rent an apartment, or even secure certain jobs. So, how do you build good credit? It's all about demonstrating responsible credit behavior. This includes paying your bills on time, keeping your credit card balances low, 
and not applying for too much credit at once. If you have existing debt, such as credit card debt or student loans, create a plan to pay it off strategically. Two popular methods are the snowball method and the avalanche method. The snowball method involves paying off your smallest debts first to gain momentum, while the avalanche method focuses on paying off debts with the highest interest rates first to save money on interest charges. Another important aspect of credit is your credit utilization ratio. This refers to the amount of credit you're using compared to your total available credit. Ideally, you want to keep your credit utilization ratio below 30%. You can do this by paying down your balances regularly and avoiding maxing out your credit cards. Remember, building and maintaining good credit takes time and effort. By making responsible financial decisions and staying informed about your credit report, you can set yourself up for financial success. Mastering your personal finances is not a sprint, it's a marathon. There's no magic formula or overnight solution. It's about making conscious choices consistently and building habits that stick. Remember, the small steps you take today can lead to significant financial freedom down the road. Start by setting clear financial goals, create a budget that works for you, and make saving a non-negotiable part of your life. Explore the world of investing and watch your money grow over time. And don't forget about the power of good credit. It can be a game changer in your financial journey. Now, I want to hear from you. What is your biggest financial goal, and what steps are you taking to achieve it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's motivate and support each other on this journey to financial wellness.